Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's apply the Laplace transform to some very unique and very common type of functions, namely the step function. We can have the step function that's offset away from the origin, and then we have a pulse, which is a step function, which then is terminated after a short period of time. Later on, we'll see, of course, some additional examples, but these are some very simple examples. Again, to find the Laplace transform of the function that is equal to the integral, in this case from 0 to infinity, since we start at 0, we assume that before time equals 0, there's no, no function at all, the function is 0. We multiply that times e to the minus st dt, and then we go ahead and integrate that. Now notice that our first step function has an amplitude of 1, our next step function has an amplitude of 3, and here this pulse has an amplitude of 5. So you can see how that uh, works in the, in the solution. So we can see here that at time equals 0, the step function now has a value of 1. So this now gets replaced by 1. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 times e to the minus st dt. Of course, we didn't have to write the, the 1, but there for clarity. And so this is equal to minus 1 over s times e to the minus st evaluated from 0 to infinity which is equal to minus 1 over s times when we plug in the upper limit minus the e to the minus infinity is 0 minus when plugging the lower limit e to the 0 is 1 and then you see the negatives negate and we get 1 over s and that is then of course the Laplace transform of the step function with an amplitude of 1 starting at the origin. All right, now let's try our second step function with things moved over two spaces to the right, two units to the right. So we have the Laplace transform of the second function. Oop, I write 1, I say 2, so here we go. Uh, that's equal to the function in S space, as we call it, or in frequency space. And so that will be equal to the integral from now we're going to integrate from 2 to infinity. There's no point in integrating between 0 and 2 because the function is 0 at that point. So we start from 2 to infinity of f2 uh, of t times e to the minus st dt, which is equal to the integral from 2 to infinity. f of uh, f2 of t is now 2, so 2 times e to the minus st dt which is equal to minus 2 over s times e to the minus s t from 2 to infinity. Now, this is equal to, we have minus 2 over s times, again when plug in the upper limit, we will get 0 minus, but now when plug in the lower limit, the lower limit is not 0, it is equal to 2, so t becomes 2, and we end up with e to the minus s times 2 and so then when we simplify that this negative negates the negative we get 2 over s e to the minus 2s and that here is now the solution or the Laplace transform of the step function which has now been moved over two seconds or whatever it is probably in seconds two seconds to the right and so therefore we now have this additional term e to the minus 2s or initial not term, but initial uh, fraction. All right, now let's go to the third one. So we want the Laplace transform of our third function. This is equal to f of s. Of course, I could put in one, two, three if I wanted to, but doesn't matter, just the general format. That is equal to, now, notice it is only equal to five, the magnitude is five, between two and three. So that way, we're going to integrate from 2 to 3, that's all we need to do, because that's everywhere else, the function is equal to 0, of f3 of t times e to the minus st, times dt, of course, equals integral from 2 to 3. Now, f of 3 dt is going to be equal to 5 e to the minus st dt, and so now we can go ahead and integrate that. So this is equal to negative 5 over s, times e to the minus st evaluated from 2 to 3. 
Now you can see we don't have infinity there, so that doesn't go to zero when we plug in the upper limit, so this becomes equal to, when you plug in the upper limit, let's write minus five over three times. Plug in the upper limit, you get e to the minus three, uh, 3s, so I'm gonna reverse the order there, and then minus, when we plug in the lower limit, that will be e to the minus 2s, like this, and then getting rid of the negative sign, we can reverse the order here, and we can write this as five over, ooh, I wrote three, no, no, that should be s, of course, five over s times e to the minus 2s minus e to the minus 3s. There we go, and this then will be the Laplace transform of one little, uh, what we call, it's a truncated step function, or the first of maybe a series of pulses. So you can take this as a single pulse, and we could have multiple pulses, and later on we will see how to find the Laplace transform of multiple pulses. And of course, it'll have to do something with how you do it with the first pulse, and then you'll see how it ends up when you have a whole train of pulses like that. So anyway, that is it. That is how you do the Laplace transform for a simple step function starting at the origin, a step function which is moved over to the right, and then a step function which is truncated or a single pulse. So stay tuned, we'll show you some more examples of how to find the Laplace transform.